What are you doing out here? I'm waiting on the bus. Bus? This is like some kind of train station or something. It's the rail bus, man. What the heck is a rail bus? What's up everybody, Nola Deach here. And I'm out here in Kenner with my buddy Brad. We've come out here to check out this platform that's right behind us. It used to be some kind of a train station. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Come check it out with us. Just outside of New Orleans in the city of Kenner is an area known as Rivertown. It is their downtown district featuring restaurants, shops, museums. There's a pretty rich history in Rivertown that goes back quite a few years. Today, I want to bring you back to the 80s. You see, along with the museums and the restaurants and shops that adorn the main street of Rivertown in Kenner, an experimental mode of transportation to downtown New Orleans was created in the 80s and it's coming right up here on the right. Right here at the corner of Williams Boulevard and Kenner Avenue, an experimental means of transportation was brought here to be demonstrated for just a few short weeks. And the only thing that's left is this platform right here. This is the site of the first experimental British-made rail bus in the United States. This is home to the Kenner Rail Bus which was here in December of 1984. It didn't last very long, but the bus on rails would take you downtown New Orleans to the train station. And as you can see, the only thing left is the platform and just a few benches and the railing. The British Rail Engineering Leyland Rail Bus was built in Workington, England in 1984, and it spent about two years on tour of the United States but it started here in Kenner before it moved on to the next city. It was a British Leyland National Bus mounted on a four-wheel railway underframe, and there was about 7,000 or so of these made. There's still a few in operation in other parts of the world, but this one came and went in a matter of two weeks. The rail bus would have traveled down these tracks to New Orleans to the train station to drop the passengers off so they can hop on their train. The rail bus was a bus body mounted on a self-propelled rail car chassis and it ran on these tracks from this depot at Williams Boulevard and Kenner Avenue to the terminal downtown New Orleans where they then could make connections to other means of transportation services. It would cost a dollar each way. Well, let's go get a closer look at this and see what's left and see if we can find anything interesting out here. As you can see just the platform is left with the benches And you can see there is a ramp there for wheelchair access. It looks like there's a plaque mounted in the ground here. Let's see what this says. Kenner Depot, site of the first experimental operation of the British-made rail bus in the United States from December of 1984 to January of 1985. So it literally lasted for one month. Why would they put a plaque down for something that was here for a month? <laughs> yeah, it's historical, man. You know, Kenner has a lot of history. This is part of its history. It's a historical failure. <laughs> so you can see where the structure would have been placed right here where these holes in the platform are. And then off the platform here, the structure would have continued this way, just like I'm showing you here in the picture. You can see where those pillars would have been holding up the structure there. And I think even right here, this little area here and it would have probably gone back about this far from the platform here this whole area would have been the little covered structure and this would have been covered as well uh, but they have since removed all of that but the platform remains and the benches remain obviously they're in uh, a little bit of state of disrepair here And uh, apparently people come and sit out here and drink but hey I remember seeing this thing built here when I was a kid and I always wanted to ride on the rail bus like it was some kind of a ride but we never did I mean it only lasted a month apparently but the depot here stayed in its form for a while until I guess they tore most of it down 
leaving just the platform behind. These tracks here lead downtown where the terminal is, and that's where you'd get off and make your connection to whatever other transportation services were available. It's kind of unfortunate it doesn't exist. It seems like it would have been successful, but it wasn't. So Brad, did you ever ride the rail bus? Never, man. Neither have I, but I remember it. But Brad didn't even know about it before today. No clue. Yeah, not a lot of people know about this, but uh, I mean, that's the purpose of making the video, right? To uh, bring the attention of this little piece of history out here in Kenner. I would like to have ridden it, but uh, I won't get that chance. Neither will you. Never. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from these hoodads. Go pass a good time.